fascinating. All right, <laughs> Natasha is not here today. Joseph is beautiful but cold today. Yeah, very cold, especially yeah. this morning. A lot of folks had frost on their cars, uh, chipping away. So it's kind of a busy start. And even aloft, we had some cold air, which turned to some snowfall. We actually have some video Ooh. of that. Yeah, so a burst of snowfall up in the West Hills. Uh, you can see the video right here. Uh, didn't stick, no snow sticking to the ground, still, you know, too warm, but it feels a little bit like winter. It still is. We're getting close to spring. The official start of spring is actually on Saturday, but look at this video right here. You may have even had some grapple kind of mixed into some of those heavier showers today, and I know we've had some reports of that as well, and we'll talk more about that. Uh, coming up with my extended forecast uh, a little bit later in the show. 47 degrees though right now, so temperatures haven't even hit 50. It's pretty cold, and this morning, most of us down to about freezing. As I mentioned, there's a lot of frost, even some slick conditions out there, some ice out there. Uh, 40s pretty much for just about everybody. Some 30s off towards the east. That goes for Burns as well. Upper 30s. Where's the warmer air? It's going to be here on Wednesday, but we still have to get through some uh, kind of colder temperatures. All right, that cold air is above our heads. And so we've seen some low snow levels, and we'll just say this dark blue area is that cold air. Watch what happens as we head into our Tuesday. We start seeing some warmer air trying to work into our region aloft, and that should prevent any sort of snowfall for the West Hills. But mainly, uh, conditions just become more stable. And uh, that means we'll just eliminate the chance for some rain as we go into our Tuesday and Wednesday. Still a few showers out there right now. You can see that one just to the northwest of Portland and some very light rain and maybe even some mixtures going on uh, right there through uh, the higher elevations down to the southwest. Uh, for the most part, though, Portland right now opening up a bit, seeing some sunshine, some passing clouds. Nice little compliment today. Uh, yes, in some areas right here. Uh, some heavy rain. You may get that grapple, as I mentioned, kind of mixing in. It looks like a dipping dot, very white and soft. Uh, not the same as hail. All right, high pressure is rolling on in, but we have some more disturbances off in the Gulf of Alaska, off towards the east, a lot of action. Very cold into areas of the Great Lakes, some rain pushing off towards areas of Virginia. Some dry time here, though, after plenty of snowfall in Colorado recently. All right, 47 degrees right now in Portland. As we head through the evening, we'll have those sun breaks. Temperatures again down to near freezing. Tonight, even below freezing to the south, so be careful for maybe some more slick spots again for tomorrow. We'll see plenty of sunshine for the afternoon. Temperatures warming up to the 50s. There's that rain chance Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, but we have a pair of days here where it's going to be nice and dry. Get outside, do what you can. It's going to be feeling pretty good. Futurecast will help show us clearing it through the night. That's what's going to drop our temperatures down, and it's already cold. And as I mentioned, it will take a day or two to warm back up. We get to Wednesday, a few more clouds, and then by the time we head into Thursday, here comes that next system. It's going to feel very similar to Sunday, where it was kind of cloudy and a little rainy. And look at this, it stays pretty unsettled and busy as we head into the weekend as well. All right, seven day forecast here. I do want to point out that nice day on Wednesday. St. Patrick's Day too, 60 degrees. Overnight temperatures again for the next couple of mornings are going to be near freezing. And then we get pretty active Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Those temperatures hanging out in the 50s. You can officially say spring showers on Saturday. Those temperatures topping off at 52 degrees. Stanley's. All right, thank you, Joseph.